I'm Carrie. And I'm Rosalie. And we're here today to teach you how to make custom jigsaw puzzles in origami boxes. Making the jigsaw puzzle is the easiest craft we're gonna do all year. All you have to do is put it back together if it came apart in your craft kit, and then draw something on it. We gave you a marker to get started, and you can literally draw anything you want. You can draw, I love you. You can draw hearts, you can draw a picture, you can draw anything if you have other uh, markers at home, you can use different colors. I'm just gonna do something very simple. It's Valentine's Day, so maybe you wanna tell somebody that you love them. Very simple, easy. If I had red with me, I could color this in, make a nice heart, and that's it. All right, then you can take it apart and put it in one of our beautiful origami boxes. Hey guys, it's Rosalie from the team department. And now we're gonna show you how to make an origami box. So these ones are a little bit smaller, like the example I'm gonna be making, because it's made with smaller origami paper. The boxes that'll come in your kit will be a little closer to this size. So it'll be eight inch paper. So to start out with, um, the only things you're gonna need from your kit are the two pieces of paper. Um, optional from home if you want tape to hold one piece of it in part, not essential. You're gonna be folding it all up. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have your paper like this and you are gonna fold it in half. Now remember, the crisper your folds are, the stronger your box is gonna be, but you wanna make sure you're in the right spot or else you'll have trouble fitting it together later. So now that you fold it in half one way, unfold it and do the same thing the other way. So make sure you line those edges up as best as you can. So now I have it with four squares. So next up, you're gonna fold everything towards the middle. You're gonna repeat this four times till you have a square that looks like this. So now you're gonna fold the top and bottom edge towards the middle. So like this, and then you flip it around and go like this. So at the end of this step, I'm gonna paper like this. So now you're gonna unfold it and you take this side and this side and unfold them all the way. Your next step is you're gonna fold these edges towards the center. So you're gonna have it like this, and you're gonna have it like this. For this first piece, you want them to line up perfectly so there's no space in between. So now you're gonna lift up one end of the box. You wanna make sure that it's not right the first line. You want it to be a little taller, right? So you can kind of fold that if you want to reinforce it. Right? The sturdier your folds, the sturdier your box is going to be. Now, look carefully. This is the only kind of the box that's kind of tricky. But once you get a hang of it, it's actually pretty simple. You're going to do this a bunch of times to make your whole box. So holding this, make sure you have a good hold on the other side. You're going to fold this part inwards so that your box stands up. All right, and then you're gonna repeat that on the other side. It's just a matter of kind of reversing these two folds. So, once you get it folded, it'll be in like this. So you do both of these sides so it goes in like this. All right, so your next step is gonna be finishing the wall of your box, which means over this side, you're gonna fold down. Now you might wanna like adjust a little bit before you do your final fold to make sure that it's gonna be sturdy. And then crease it on the end. Right, and now you have sides of a box. 
So I'm gonna show you how to go through it again, but basically the other side is exactly the same thing. So you see you have these two folds here that are kind of pre-scored. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that first one is where it's gonna fold up, right? Because you want your box to be equal size, right? So you just kind of reinforce that fold a little bit. And now you have these two sides. So holding your side, you're gonna kind of just flip these folds. So this one goes in and that one goes out. So same thing on the other side. I'm gonna fold this bit in and this bit up. So it looks a little bit like an envelope. All right, so now you're gonna fold down right where we have this crease over here and adjust it a little bit so that it's nice and even when you're doing this. Because again, these are gonna be the walls of your box. So crease it all the way through and there's your box. So this is where the tape might come in depending on how you fold it. Sometimes these flaps come up a little bit. On this one, they're pretty even, but if you wanna be sure, just put a tiny piece of tape on the bottom so they don't catch on anything. Now, for the top of the box, we're gonna pretty much repeat the same process. Now, in some of the examples, they use paper that's a little bit different size. If you're using a paper that is half an inch smaller on each side, you just repeat the exact process I just did. If you're using a paper that's the same size, there's one key difference in making. So we're gonna start back to where we started with the other one, which is your first piece of paper like this, and you fold it in half. And when you're done, you fold it in half the other way. So you have your four, Areas. Then you fold in the middle, so that once again, you got this. Pretty much everything you do on this, you're going to end up doing more than once, because you're going to have four of everything. So we got it like this, right? Now you're going to fold towards the middle. This is where the difference comes in. The first time we folded it all the way to the middle. This time, because we want our box to be a little bit bigger, we don't want it to meet in the middle. Now, you have to do a little bit of estimation here because if you do it too far away, your lid is gonna be a lot bigger than the box, which it's not the end of the world, but it's gonna slide down a little bit. So here I did a little bit of a gap, right? So that gap is what's gonna make it a bigger box. So now you unfold and you have your two pieces here. Then once again, you're gonna fold not all the way to the middle. You're gonna go most of the way to the middle. So you leave that little gap unlike the other piece you did. And you wanna try and have both sides even so your box will fit together. All right, so we have a bit of a gap here. Everything else is gonna be pretty much the same, All right? So we open it back up and then we have to fold this piece up, all right? So we're going to strengthen our folds there. And then we start with one side. We have this and then we have to do our little crease over and then we do our crease over on the other side of our little envelope looking thing and we fold down the top piece of the box. We fold that nice and sturdy and it falls into place. Then we repeat the process on the other side. So we go in and in and then we fold it over. Make sure our corners line up. Mine aren't perfect. Not a big deal. You can always adjust it a little bit. And here you go. So now you have all four corners. Then this one's sticking up a little bit, so that's where I'm gonna put a tiny bit of tape to hold it together. So now we have the two pieces of our box. 
top and the bottom. This one's a little bit bigger, so it fits together and pretty easy to take apart. And it's a great place to hold your homemade jigsaw puzzle. Great way to give somebody a gift. And if you ever wanna follow this again, if you have paper of your own, if you use construction paper or printer paper, it's gonna be a little bit thicker like these ones. And it'll be a little bit harder to get those crisp edges. All right, so hope you guys had fun following along and stay tuned for our uh, next activity. Thank you for joining us for this craft. Keep the rest of your kit because next week we're going to have a live Zoom session where we'll put together our light up Valentine's Day cards. You can join us at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday, February 9th. You'll need to register for the event to get the Zoom information. Our next event this month is Among Us. Join us on Tuesday, February 16th at 3.30 p.m. to play this fun game. Download the free app in advance to your mobile devices. This special event is open to all students in grades 5 through 8. Our last event is YA Game Night on Tuesday, February 23rd from 7 to 8 p.m. Join us for some hilarious games. We move the event tonight to give you some, a break right after school. To sign up for these events, go to our website and click on Calendar to register. We will send you the Zoom link the morning of the event. You can also sign up for our email newsletter so you can find out about all the events in one place. Make sure you're following us on Instagram at JPLTeens so you don't miss any of our fun events. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us again next time.